What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team, stand up! You know it's February, because FTC is legendary. Jack TV! Will his girl cheat to boost her music career? Loyalty test. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today, Eli Coming Rishon from experience, dating another uh, girl, especially that is in the industry, especially music industry, is whoo. You ask her to take off about five or ten years of your life, man, with the amount of stress. You know what I'm saying? So, you all fellas out there that happen to be dating any woman that is in the music industry or just in the industry in general, I'll be praying for you. Out to me and the team to see if his girlfriend was truly loyal to him or not. In his DM to me, there was a few details that stood out. Number one, his girlfriend is an artist and she's very flirtatious. So you guys, it is 9.20 in the morning. I don't Wait, know who came bro, with the, the idea. Fact that you just said that fairy flirt. You shouldn't even be in a relationship right now. Like, do we even have to say? We don't even have to say a red flag. I know the video just started. I'm not trying to be petty, but bro. Like, I, I, one thing I could definitely say is that, like, if I knew the girl was flirtatious in any relationship I've been in, it's always been a no go. I always, you always find something like that out, like, three or five months in a relationship. Turning my car out again for a video, but I have to actually wait on Wit to come grab this car so she can take it. So yeah, yeah, we just waiting on her to pull up and um, and since she pull up, jack off. <laughs> yeah, you can just feel me, cause we don't know what car she. That's her. Where is this at? She's like super little. She's like a little kid. Texas, Atlanta. Who is that dude? No idea. Cause that's not her boyfriend. But she is an artist, you know, artists be having a little entourage. So we got Eli to book his girlfriend a vehicle for the music video over the weekend, which will be the babe for when the test begins once she returns it. All right, you guys, so she's gone now with the car. I definitely got to call her boyfriend to get some intel about who's the guy that uh, picked up the car with her, because it's definitely not him. And aside from that, uh, once she dropped the car, after actually using it for a day, the loyalty test officially begins. Hey, Eli. What's up? So, um, we uh, came and picked the car up. Everything went smooth. The only thing I want to ask you is, is that, um, who was the guy she came with? Cause she came with a guy. Uh, it probably was her manager. She's always with her manager. They, I believe they had a video shoot this past weekend. Okay, cool. Yeah, cause I was just like this. Now, to be fair, you gotta usually have a manager, especially in the industry like that. But you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's such a tough thing, man. Like, especially in, in, a, in a woman's case, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you're in a relationship, like you just have all the ultimate thing. You definitely still gotta be in your P's and Q's, but that don't mean all the time that they just giving it up and everything like that because nine times out of 10, they're really just trying to, you know what I'm saying, have the right guidance and have the right, um, you know what I'm saying, team behind them and stuff. So I'm not gonna give a red flag on that necessarily unless she just gives other type of, um, Hints or a type of uh, this is not Eli. Body language that they're doing and something I else. To make sure you know what I'm saying. Business. We ain't already, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Running to nothing crazy. But yeah, man, she picked the car up. Um, I'm gonna send her the address later on when we get closer to the drop off date, and that's when uh, she will be with the decoy. I know you didn't get to meet, meet the decoy and nothing like that, but I'm gonna brief him on basically like what to do and what not to do. Is there any do's or don'ts that you want me to um, tell him to do? I mean, just don't like just. Don't, don't be like touching her, tight. You know what I mean? Like let it. Don't be touching her. Like, yeah. Okay, that's cool, bro. That's easy. I all these fellas that, understand good. too, like both sides though. Like you can still be flirting and it counts as damn near cheating in the body. No, not even damn near. Like it is cheating and it damn near counts as a body if somebody's flirting without like the touchy touchy stuff. So. All right. So um, when she dropped the car off. Before she drop it off, I'm gonna send her the location and it starts. All right, let's do it. All right, bro. All right. Prior to the test, we had a whole nother decoy schedule, but he got cold feet, so we had to rely on Gabe to go ahead and execute the decoy for this video. Everyone is placed, cameras are set up, all there is left to do is to wait on Wit to come to the location so she can actually return this car. Will she fail this test and go for our decoy Gabe, or will she prove us all wrong and remain loyal to her boyfriend? Let's find out now. Ally with loyalty. Test. Before we arrive, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm gonna give you an easy way to make a quick $250. Unlike this money, this is actually real. So, bro, listen, you wanna make the money? Hey, you can actually do 10 of those. 
Okay. Do about ten of those. It's gonna see you a guaranteed two hundred fifty dollars. While we waiting on your girl to pull up, you can actually do that right, right now. Easy. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, at least they make it. All right, Gabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. What's up, she outside, bro? It's gonna be a mic right here, so just the audience can hear your shit. The headphones right here. These are uh, the worst yeah, types of uh, feelings, on. man. When you're doing a little so success, it's raining outside. Yeah, it's just you feel all the darkness about to uh, happen. We've been together about three years. I um, mean, yeah. she 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 been cool for three years, but like I ain't gonna lie, recently she started being real flirtatious with other niggas. It's been making me nervous. Gotta cut that off, man. See, that's a dangerous part, man, with these damn long-term relationships, bro. Like I, I could never, bro. Like. You be in a relationship that long, and then now three years in, you talking about, oh, she's starting to act different these last couple of months. Bro, that's just obvious that she's just not feeling it anymore. Like, sometimes too much of anything for somebody, if they're just not a naturally loyal person, they're going to get sick of. You know what I'm saying? Like, she probably just liked you in, like, a sexual way or something, or probably just liked you for, like, what you can provide from her until she found the better stock. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? All right. You like the car? That's a vet with the suicide doors, man. You, you enjoy that side doors? Okay. Have you ever seen a shirt with yeah. the butterfly dog? No, 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 no. Yeah, I thought you was cutting up. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, thank you. Check it out real quick. Make sure you ain't damaged nothing. <laughs> Oh, what's this? she's you returning. This? It's a rental. Okay. That's right. And what's your name again? I'm sorry. What's your name again? It's weird. So that's it's the okay, I'm yeah, loyalty nice decoy to they're going to be using. You got a beautiful smile, the, too. The car rental. You just cheesing over there? You can't stop cheesing, huh? Okay. And over there? Lie, you look at body language. When a girl sit up there and do that, like, he might as well just, like, ask her, are you just trying to go home tonight or something like that? Like, I read all types of body language. This ain't it. If this is... Say what you want, it sounds petty, bro. This is a red flag, a huge red flag. This is something where I wouldn't, I would think about honestly breaking up with her on the spot. Um, and, and if I don't, I'm definitely cheating at least three or four times, uh, maybe five times. This is just extremely disrespectful. Like, you're making this. You ever seen those just memes before where it shows like whenever, like, your girl is around, your homie turns into a comedian, and then you just had seen that girl in the meme just like laughing extra hysterically, like, you know what I'm saying, extra. This is just a prime example. Like, man's just turned into the prime Kevin Hart and Drewski all in one. Man, nah, bro, that's just a straight up red flag. This will cause an argument from there on to the way home. And dude deserves a cheat. Maybe he doesn't deserve to be broken up case, but this counts for at least half of a body. If you don't want to say a full body, this is at least half a body. This is disrespectful, bro. No, I'm just saying. You can't stop cheesing, huh? So okay. He can't, she can't stop cheesing and stuff. So the decoy end up getting cold feet, so they caught on your boy. Go to the garage real quick. So, is your mom and Gabriel? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so we got something in common. Hold on. You say your son ain't Gabriel? Oh yeah, that's my name. We got something in common. He must like that name or something. You like it? Why you keep laughing? Oh, funny? Nah, nah, you can tell me. If I was a dude right now looking at this, man, I'd be crying right now, man. This man has his back turned half the time just checking out to make sure he don't got no damn scratches and dents and lint on his car, bro. And she over there like laughing like this man is just... Bruh, like a five-star comedy show, bruh. I don't even think I've seen anybody laugh at Cat Williams or any of the other comedians this hard, bruh. This is crazy. You tell me. So what you have doing in the car? Um, I actually did a video shoot. A video shoot? Yeah. Where is it? It ain't out yet. Oh, yeah? No. Okay. So what you do? You a singer? So what kind of music you do? I do R&B. I right. <laughs> go and sing for me then. No. Why? I mean, you can listen to my music if you want. 
I mean, what, what, what? I ain't gonna lie, like, bro, anybody that is, like, you know what I'm saying, that does music or is an artist, bro, that does, like, I've always felt like that is, like, the cringiest thing you could ask somebody that does music or is an artist, bro. Like, just on the spot, just to act a pella, sing <laughs> something random, or just, like, if somebody says, like, oh, you be rapping, like, go and spit me something. Like, maybe I understand the rap part. Cool, I give, like, a little six or eight bars or something like that. But, bro, just imagine someone just sitting there busting out the damn Mariah uh, Carey vocals just right there in the, you know what I'm saying, Return to Real Life. You know, that, that don't sound like cringe to you. I don't know. Oh, man, you an artist. Have you, have you an artist? I don't like these on You can't sing for me? No, I don't like these on What's wrong? But you, you, how you shop with your artist, though? Because I'm... And you look good. <laughs> Pigeon toe, look at you. Oh, Did he say yeah. pretty toe? Okay. She got shoes on, bro. He, Hey, cause you look good, my man. You can't stop smiling though. You, hey, hey, let me know. Uh -huh. This is something you like or what? Uh, I like the car. That's it? I ain't gonna lie, you look good. Nicole, you wanna sit down here again? <laughs> See, I, I'm not trying to sit up here and defend the girl, but in the girl's case, it, it, it can be possible that sometimes when girls are nervous and skin, like more nervous on a scare tip and not like trying to flirtatious tip, and she's just trying to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? It goes back to the similar thing that we've reacted to past, um, not UDY, but uh, Jack TV episodes too. Um, uh, basically, when a girl is just trying to basically just get up out of there because you never know how salty guys get if they just, you know, think that they're facing rejection. So you never know. Maybe she could actually be like not faking laughing, but nervously laughing just to try and just like get them up out of there. But I don't know. What you guys got to say? You sure? Oh yeah, you look good in the car. So, so, so what's up, you single? And it was so last minute, so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was a little nervous at first, but then I found me, you know what I'm saying? Not but on a serious note, man, it's my building, you know what I'm saying? I got a few other buildings, you know what I'm saying? So I do, I got rent, uh, a car rental business. I got a few other things, people come shoot videos in, people wanna <coughs> shoot videos, cause you say you a music artist, right? Yeah, I got different spots you can shoot videos in. You can do, I got jail house scenes, I got money house scenes, I got chairs, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I do for a living, man. This is me, this is all me right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anytime, yeah, you need to go and get, go and get my number down. So, why you, you can give me your Instagram. My Instagram? Yeah. What's wrong with my number? It's complicated. What you mean, what's complicated? My situation is complicated. Nah, right. bro, that's a, that's a second red flag, bro. I was just about to give her credit, too. Like, if she would have just said that she has a man, I would have just gave it her ultimate credit because, like, then now you just 100% know that she's just all about business and is still trying to be loyal to the man. But she's given an Instagram. And then also on top of that, she said that the situation that she's in is complicated, which means that if he shoots a shot the right way but doesn't have her number, but if she likes what he's saying or whatever, or maybe thinks that he has a lot more emotion than what she's assuming, you know what I'm saying? Like, She's going to be all in. Like, bro, that's nah, the second red flag. She's not even saying that she has a man. She's saying it's complicated. Bro, that literally reminds me of something from, like, the middle school or high school days. Like, I don't know if you guys was, like, on, was it, like, Facebook or MySpace? I think it was Facebook. Where, like, if somebody, you like, on their Facebook profile, and you would go and you'll see, like, what the relationship status is. And they would put, like, uh, in a relationship, but complicated. Literally, that's where this shit comes from, word by word. Like, bro, that's just like sounds just so super like shot. It's like, bro, it's either you're in a relationship or you're not. That's literally saying at this point, like, if you're over, especially the age of like 21, and somebody asks you, are you single, married, or whatever, and you just sit up there not saying that yes or no, like, and you're just saying, beating around a bush, oh, you're like, yeah, but it's complicated situation, shit. Like, bro, like, come on, man. You don't even need to be in a relationship. The guy that's watching this and doing his loyalty test, to be honest, she failed already. It hasn't even been to the 10 minute mark. Personally, to me, the relationship is done. There's nothing to like, What you mean, complicated? Three years in a relationship? Three years is a significant part of your life. That can slow you down if you don't, you know what I'm saying, manage your grind the right way. He probably sacrificed a lot of things and, and, and stuff like that. And three years in a relationship, you're talking about it's complicated? You can't just say that. You have a relationship, but maybe it's complicated, but that's something that you're not supposed to be discussing to a stranger you just met. Oh, that, <laughs> like, I mean, that mean ain't no situation then, huh? It's complicated. Y'all be safe out there, man. That means I'm in a situation, it's complicated. So that might get your number? No, you can't have my Instagram. I ain't gonna lie, he begging. Hey, hold on, I'm gonna show you some rooms real quick. You an artist. Why are you, what's wrong? Why are you in a rush to leave? Being that we are exactly right across the wall from where they're actually sitting, I told Eli to go ahead and give his girlfriend a call. And he did, 
but she did not answer. I'm not in the room. Okay, what's up? Come on, let me show you some real quick. Okay. You know you want to come anyway. Your phone ringing, I think. No, you want to come. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that a red flag? Yes. Yes. Show the camera. Show the camera. Uh, if y'all want to make an easy $250, <laughs> then I just put that in my special to our coat. Yeah, Bro, this like stuck in huh? the ad in the climax. See what I'm saying? We got, so funny I got everything, shit. man. Your man don't got that. You can't stop smiling. No, you're yeah. just funny. That's all. Yeah. Nah, for real. So, how do I check out? Uh, you can do it from the, uh, the app. I got you right here. Just go ahead and fill everything out, so. Make sure ain't nothing wrong with it. And while you had to put your number in, all right? Um. You got it, it's cool. You know you want to. Go ahead and fill everything out, make sure everything good. Typing that fast, look at you. Cause look I'm trying to get a ready to put. You ready to put that no, number in. I'm it's all to get good. Mm-hmm. You funny. Yeah. Bro. Okay. Sign right here for me. Gabe is keeping his foot on the gas and insisting on going on a date, but Wit is actually standing on all business and keeping it business. So she's actually doing a good job. What you mean? Mm. Bro, don't tell, bro, are you seriously that in love? You not seen, bro, this is two red flags, bro. You, they, yeah, and actually, I actually damn near ignored the other third red flag. I'm not even gonna say anything. Maybe she was just too busy talking, but to me, that's personally a third red flag, but I'm not even gonna give it a red flag. They was just mentioning that he called his own girl and she ignored her for a dude that she just met uh, in the rental car company, bro. This is a complete stranger. All right, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That's all you is. Yeah, but I ain't going through the, I ain't reading the age and the address and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I probably want to hear from you. That makes sense. There you go. I want to hear you talk more. You sound good, too. <laughs> I'm 27. 27? Okay, how do you think I am? I uh, don't really know. Hey, take a guess. Why you got to be mean? I'm not being mean. Take a guess. This guy is shooting his shot, bro. Dame Dollar style, nigga. All-star 2024, bro. Yo. Mm -hmm. Look at me. You gotta look at me. You looking over there. I ain't over there. Look at me. Y'all look at my face. She's probably late 20s. Late 20s? She said late 20s. Nah. Probably. I don't know if that's an insult you know, or you compliment. Ain't I did guess. That was a guess. Late 20s? Yes. Nah, nah. I'm 30. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a little close to it, though. You can sit down. You want to sit down? Sit down for me. I see, you know what I'm saying? So, what you do for a living besides singing? Two jobs. Two jobs? What? And I'm a full-time mom. Full-time mom? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? Just one. How old are they? It's a boy or a girl? He's a boy. Three. Remember, he has the same name as you? Oh, yeah. You did tell me that, huh? He checked me on my shit, huh? I am. Okay. So, why you asking so many questions? I'm just trying to get to know you. That's but cool. I already checked out, so... What you mean you checked out? You checked out the car. You didn't check out with me. You still right here talking to me. Evidently, hey. But I don't know how to get out of here like that. You know what I'm saying? This is your shit. I know you don't. So you trying to leave right now? Are you, are, are, oh, what's up? I mean, you good? I told you I was in a complicated situation, so. I know you was, but what's up, though? You still right here talking to me? He ain't here. He ain't going nowhere. All we doing is conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you smiling from ear to ear. You ain't stop smiling yet. Look. It's just because you're funny. I'm funny? I ain't saying nothing funny. You been, you been making jokes since I walked up here. There ain't no jokes. I'm being real with you. You fine as hell. And we got to come somewhere to come. Your son ain't Gary. You must be thinking about me when you name him that. You ain't know. See, God work mysterious ways. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. That's why I say God work mysterious ways. Despite Wick conducting herself very well, from my opinion, in his loyalty test, it doesn't sit right with Eli the fact that she said that relationship is very complicated. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> nah, nah, for real though, man. So, shit. Me and me link up sometimes. For what? We can go out to eat or anything. But I'm, I'm really on business. We can talk about some business. Okay, so what? So like your next, your your next show, your next uh, video, your next show, your next video. You know what I'm saying? From the command bro, center, I know I this is like kind of like off topic, bro. But a nigga like me, I could never sit up there and beg no female like this, bro. My like game is just different, bro. Like I'm straight up just gonna be like, yo, like whatever. You look good today. You you got a gram. You got a number. You know what I'm saying? If she say no, bro, I'm gone. Like. To me, like, you say whatever you want. To me, this kind of seems like 
begging type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll never beg you no know, no no female to mess with me, bro. There's so many fish in the sea. But bro, sometimes I guess females just be attracted to that in a way, bro. Like there's someone that just continuously keeps getting their shot blocked and then puts it up the fifty third time. You know, like Yo, next show your I feel like she's had plenty of chances to be like, oh like let me just get up out of here. But it's like she's also kind of entertaining it and seeing that if he's like the type of uh person that she is messing with and stuff video and she's trying you know to find out and from the command center i can definitely see where eli's coming from when he says that his girlfriend is flirtatious however comment down in the comments if you guys think she's failing this test or not because from where i'm sitting i feel like she's doing a good job hell no nah, huh? man man she got two red flags bro man the relationship is done for me i don't know how this dude's still standing there uh not him but the uh dude that's running the oh, test on everything the cool like you said, it was complicated. It is. Him. Okay, so what's up? Me, so when something, so so what's up? Me trying to go out somewhere tomorrow? I just, I just want to do business. That's business. It's not business. We can go eat, sit down, and eat, and talk business. Matter of fact, I ain't hear, I ain't, I ain't hearing your songs yet. I mean, come on, right now, I got you. You, you whatever you got, right now, I got some money right now for you. Herman, though, I got a thousand for you right now. You gonna sing? A thousand <laughs> right now. <laughs> It's you right here. This man oh. right here. Go on, see for me. Oh my God. Look at my face too. Hey, you ain't a real hustler if you don't do it. Why? You finna look to the man, side? Man, give her acapella. Oh, I ain't gonna I'm lie. Right I'm right here. Oh, goodness. See, at okay. that point, that's what it's worth putting it on the spot to say something. <laughs> okay, so name of the song is called Hustle. Okay. Um, so. It doesn't matter how you do it, just stay true to it. Can't nobody do it better, you ain't new to this shit. Got a heart made of gold and your style is a mesh. Got a big yeah. head on your own, man. That ain't no cap, I see you working hard. Yeah, you up on your shit. Pay that cost to be the boss, I know you running some shit. Yeah. Got a family feed at home, hell no, you can't quit. When it gets real hard, just play this song and don't quit. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, okay, this you, then. That's Speak that you. Speak that shit, then. <laughs> I see you looking in my eyes when you're singing that shit, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I seen you ain't looking right now one this time. Man is, this man is definitely tricking, bro. Yeah, Yo, it's all good. Man yeah, but, like but, man. but yeah, nah, for sure. Without even going most, on a date, most, most it's, it's more where they came from. You know what I'm saying? We can sit down, get some food, talk business. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? We can talk other things too. It's up to you. However you want to do it. My man's going through all the emails oh, right now. It's something on your shirt. Come here. Oh, get it off. I don't know about that. Why is there a green light on it? What's what? What is that on your shirt? Oh, oh shit! No, 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 no! This is a first on any of these loyalty tests. That's how you know these things is really authentic. Yo, nah, nah, nah. What's he gonna say? Like insecurity. We literally told not... Gabe to come closer. We didn't know what she was doing, but she saw the mic on Gabe, so it forced us to actually leave and go ahead and interrupt them. But it looks like a mic, so it ain't no mic. You got a mic for it's not a mic. You're, you're being weird. So. No! No! Now it's, you're being weird. When you have a feeling when you were being recorded in any type of microphone. Now you see how the energy change? Nigga, if this man does not see the motherfucking flawness right now and end off the relationship by the end of the video, my nigga. We are doomed as a male society, especially the niggas that are 35 and under, bro. Look at her and she should have been like this since she hopped out the car. Nice, pleased to meet you. You got any business cards? If I need to rent a car again, whatever. I, I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm bouncing. She should have been had this energy, bro. Bro, that is crazy. When somebody has a feeling they' about to get caught, you always just should know the same, bro. It, most of the time, they never really start. They just start that they got caught, bro. Her, look at this shit. Like her entire life flashed behind her eyes, bro. Mike, you got a mic for it. it's not a mic. I have never seen a woman get up and grab their purse that fast in my life, bro. If this man right here is still in a relationship by the end of this video, bro, there is nothing for me to look. I'm just saying, it's not a mic, though. She see the mic, bro. Fuck, she see the mic. Come here. For what? Nah, don't leave yet. You're about to confront Don't leave yet. We over here complicated, though. We complicated. You can't answer phones now? You got cameras and shit? Come on, now. We complicated though, for real? 
I ain't gonna lie, in the middle of me and her having a conversation, bro, she was like, come in. So I'm like, what's wrong? I go to her, boom, she grabbed a mic, bro. We a situation? <laughs> when since when we been in a situation? Damn. We're going through shit right now. What do you mean? We ain't been going through shit. Yes, we I've have. been spending two bands for your How video. How many times have you came to me and said- Damn, he's investing in your own music career? Flirting too much when you go out and do your music shit. Because you That's always flirting. Job. That's my job. You stay flirting with niggas, yeah, bro. what? I gotta do- I gotta make our money, right? I make money- Our money? Bro, shit, he just said it. He provided and funded for your music video, bro. It's his money. It ain't ours. He look like he's a damn artist, bro. He sit up there. He probably sit up there, damn near slaving wherever he's damn near working at and stuff, just to make you happy and provide for your career. Only to do this behind his back. Too. And and this is my life. So that don't mean you gotta flirt shit. with niggas. You can keep keep shit strictly you business. Have a conversation with somebody is not flirting. You gotta have business a relationship and a regular relationship. You over here trying to have relationship with niggas. They just got the camera slitting this nigga right here. Business relationship and a regular relationship. You over here. <laughs> they just sitting there like this with a camera. I know it's a controller, but bro just sitting there, steady shot, bro, while they have a mid argument. I'm waiting for her to snap and just try to like knock the camera out this man in. That's trying funny to have as hell. With niggas. That's crazy though, but I'm, I'm sitting there watching. I mean, it, it, it really is it's how you're talking about in the conversation. So let me show you. Right? I'm sitting there watching. You over here flirting with bro. You don't, come on now. You don't even understand. I've been watching, bro. This the homie. This the homie now. I didn't watch you sit there and flirt with him. Then give me your number though. I understand that you done been through some shit, but don't take that out of Come on now. Now we going to my past? You see, girls always do shit like this. This is how you know you've been caught, bro. They always do so. I've had, bro, the trauma that's reactivating in the flashbacks is reactivating in my head, bro. When they, when I've literally caught females in the act of just like doing some flaw ass shit, they always throw back, oh, don't be trying to take out your past on me. I just feel like you're just a little bit insecure. I'm not a bad person. I'm not here to hurt you. Bitch, yes, the fuck you are. You're here to hurt everything in my soul. What are you talking about? We going to my past? Yes, yes, that's what we doing? Yes, we Let's be real here. Let's let's be real here. It was not nothing business related. According to Eli, we failed this test because she accepted the money and never really took the initiative to just go ahead and leave after returning the car. However, if you guys feel like we has failed this test and Eli is tripping, make sure you just comment that down in the comments below. Man, we I'm done with this shit, bro. Okay. Done with this shit. We done. We done. Don't call my phone. Don't come back to the house. All your shit gonna be out. I'm gonna get my shit. How about that? All that shit gonna be out out the door. Don't trip. Don't trip. It's gonna be out the door. Gonna it's gonna be out the door. So you don't, right? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so how the fuck I get out of here? How you gonna ask him? <laughs> it's not even his shit. So whose shit is it? How the fuck do I leave? Do you think they don't really get back together or not, bro? They live together, man. Like, don't you worry about it. You, the door right there. Right? The door right so there. You can go ahead and get the fuck up out. So that means I can go. Get I the fuck on. Right now. Kick on. I can go get my shit. What, right what that nigga say? Get her gone. Get her gone. Okay. The fuck on. I'm done. Are you done? Deuces. Okay, so. Get up out of here. Come on. Bye. You can go meet me there. I'm not I'm not driving with you in my car. Because I might fuck around and crash that shit on purpose. The fuck Damn, nah, that's a different type of heartbreak. Bro, there is like certain levels of crap, bro. Crash out, bro. Like heartbreak crash outs got to be the worst, bro. When you are heartbroken, bro, you doing things like getting on that henny. You know what I'm saying? Um Saying things like this, what he's saying, I never said that before, but the other one, eh, you know, it's, it's possible the, the Henny uh, got into the system a couple of times in a life after a heartbreak. But no, nah, all just aside, bro, that's a danger. I feel like probably the most, like, in a top two, three category of, like, a dangerous human being is somebody that just got heartbroken. Like, that person has, like, literally, like, a straight blackout vision on just, like, whatever they can do to like ease their pain, they will do it. You know what I'm saying? Like that is, that, I ain't gonna lie, that's some crazy talk. You gotta chill out with that, bro. Don't let your emotions take over like that. We done. Come on, bro, get up out of here. Get her going. Get her going. <laughs> we not going together. Go the fuck I thought he was gonna say, own. get her done. What the fuck is you doing? Bro, now you, you tripping. You said get, you done. Bro, you said you done. get off the bro you car though. Get, right get off the bro oh, car though. You tripping. You mad tripping right now. You mad tripping right now. Come on. 
Like, come on. What you mean? Get this they shit. These they shit, bro. You on they shit, bro. Ain't nobody gonna mess this damn problem. Look at my little bitty ass. What I'm gonna do to this big ass? Bro? Just the door is right there. Get out. Pieces. Deuces. I'm not going with you. Deuces. Get the fuck on. Fuck out of here. Fuck. I don't know how to get out of here. The fuck out, bro. Right there. Door right there. The fuck on. Great. Fuck you too. Peace. Bye. Dose. Bro, so get your girl Uber. Well, just get her an Uber so she won't be living around. That ain't my girl no more, bro. Fuck that. Do you there want me to call you an Uber? No. How you gonna get home? Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's dangerous, bro. Just go. Just go fuck go, that, just bro. Just go talk to her. So she nah, cause if she if she, she choosing, link, bro, she better call one of them other niggas. Fuck that. Hey, that's how you do it, bro. I'm about to get an Uber. That, on, hey, you know, he's on the right track. Hopefully, he just stands on business and don't take her back, bro. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm tired of this shit, she bro. She can walk home for all I care and get eaten nigga by Nigga trying to bear, bear, bear. Female, real good, bro. <laughs> everything happening what with you nigga, mean? Bro. I'm tired of this shit, bro. 22, 22. Bro, this shit is called? Hey, man, I'm tired of this shit. So she gonna be tripping shit. Uh, you good? I'm good, bro. Like, I'm, I appreciate you, bro. That's it. Real yeah. talk. I appreciate you. Yeah. Fuck that shit. This nigga taking me home. I'm, I'm not taking you home. Yes, the fuck you are. Yes, the fuck you are. Yes, the fuck you are. You take me home. You just ordered you an Uber. We tried to get with Tlaib because I didn't want her sitting on the car or destroying any type of property or none of that nature. So we had her leave. I got her Uber. Boom. She walked back in, and now we're at square one. Oh, we gotta get out of here, bro. We gotta be. Bro, she, I don't know if she's gonna eat. Oh, she's gonna fuck the car or whatever. You're doing too much. You taking me home. I don't wanna hear that shit. I'm not taking you home. Where y'all motherfuckers taking me home? I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on, come on, come on. I got you. I got you. I just got you an Uber, though. I don't want no fucking Uber. I got you. What the fuck is you doing? You gotta stop coming in, please. Like. Lock the door, bro. Just come in and lock the door. Till next time, Jack. I mean, I told y'all, man. Told y'all. She fell not even 10 minutes into the video, bro.